Hi everybody, this is Heather from SisterWigs.com and today I'm bringing you fresh out of the box Jenny by John Renault um, in the color R or 8RH14. So sorry about that if I pronounced it improperly. Again, that's 8RH14. And 8RH14 is also known as hot cocoa, which is um, a medium golden brown blended with a medium uh, to light ash blonde. But the highlighting pattern, as you can probably tell, is not dramatic in the slightest. Um, that's kind of what that RH stands for. It's realistic highlighting. At least I know what that stands for in the John Renault line. Um, and so it's just supposed to look like a natural variance of tone to make it look like natural hair. So this is a really cute cut. And I also think that with very little modification, this could very easily be a unisex cut. You would just have to modify the sides because, you know, all this stuff in the sides, of course, is quite feminine. Um, but if you're looking for a nice modified pixie, this is a really nice wig. Um, now you might see some of the permatease popping up, but that's very easy to just trim as the flyaways appear or product. You can product your, your flyaways away. Um, you know, but, but that's, that's nothing. Um, the lace front is very nice. It's a smart lace front. John Renault has some very beautiful lace fronts. And as you can see, it's quite realistic looking. And um, the coverage on the sides is very nice on this wig. And I love these little bloop, bloop, bloops on the side. And this really pretty feathered long bang. Um, let me show you the sides here. The side is four inches and the bangs are five and the hair from the crown to the bottom is 6.25 and the nape is pretty short. It's 1.75. So let me turn around so you can see that. Very, very short in the back. So again, it is a modified pixie. Lots of layers here. Very pretty. And it will stretch to a certain degree to cover up in the back. Though the monofilament in the front, this lace front, any time you see a lace front, it's gonna limit the ability of the wig to stretch. And so um, this wig will not give as much as one that was a completely open cap construction wig. So if you're on the fence about whether or not this will fit you, let me know, give me your measurements, we'll figure something out. So very, very cute. I, I, I really like this style. Um, and it's pretty effortless. Um, it looks very natural on. The color is definitely very, very natural looking. Um, that reminds me quite a bit of my natural hair color. Um, let me pull these bangs down a little bit so you can see the four inch bang. And you could always have a stylist um, make this even more um, textured or you could I mean that looks kind of cute though even though I can barely see <laughs> that actually looks kind of nice um, isn't it funny how like styles that cover up one of your eyes are so becoming even when you can't see <sighs> but um, I guess it's like the magic the mystery um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this wig off before I say something else that's silly um, and that way you can see what the cap construction looks like. So, open wefted sides and back, held together with elastic to give it some stretch, felt ear tabs, felt at the nape, adjustable Velcro straps. Let me let this all the way out. Okay, and then um, this, where this lace is, that is indicative of where the permatease is in the, um, in this wig. And then a very nice, pretty generous lace front. Here is the top of this wig, where that permatease is. So again, if you're concerned about the permatease, just get it in a rooted shade or a, or a dark shade like this one and no one will be able to tell. This is what the back looks like up close on the sides. Check out all the layering. Very pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back on. Oh. 
This one is very easy to put on, bigger comb. Done! So this has been Jenny by John Renault in the color Hot Cocoa, also known as 8RH14. Thanks for watching and have a great night.